Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for basic Sorgonomics, and uh, let's get right into it. You know, PodCamp Pittsburgh is coming up. PodCamp Pittsburgh 10 is coming up. 10. That's a really interesting number that's been going around lately, I've noticed. 10. Or PodCamp Pittsburgh X, so we can seem cool, right? Uh, but, uh, you know, a lot of go- stuff going on. I've actually been talking, trying to connect with some people. Uh, I've been tasked with uh, to return some of the originals, some of the PodCamp originals, some some decent people out there doing really cool stuff in social media. I'm not going to name drop. We'll leave that for PodCamp to do, uh, officially. But uh, 10 years, 10 years. There's another 10-year thing coming up. There's uh, uh, 10 years. Wait a minute. Am I thinking this right? That hit 10, but we started the wrestling show first. Did we miss our 10th anniversary? No, first anniversary, 10th. This is our 10th year. Wait, math is wrong. But either way, pass or forward. I'll do the math later. Um, we're, we're doing our 10th year of... We're completing our 10th year and having our 10th anniversary. That works out. For the Wrestling Mayhem show uh, coming up in January. Interesting, interesting. There's another 10 that came up today. Ginny. Ginny Montanez. I hope I did that right. Uh, Otherwise known as uh, Pit Girl, that's church.net. Jane Pitt on the Twitters. Uh, Good friend. Good friend. Um, Saw her actually last week at uh, Social Media Day, uh, Pittsburgh Social Media Day that we discussed on this and the awesome cast, of course. Uh, But she also, uh, Wojciech, um, her butler, as she used to be, he used to be recalled to, uh, uh, called, uh, was uh, 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 spouting about, was tweeting about, well, it's late, uh, was tweeting about how it's the 10th uh, anniversary of the Berg blog and, uh, and Ginny getting out of there. Really interesting. So you know, 10 years of This Week in Tech was recently uh, celebrated for, uh, as well. We're getting to the spot of maturity with podcasting, which apparently has reemerged. We don't, as we like to say in podcasting, we don't remember going anywhere. Uh, and really is kind of becoming its own mature kind of format that uh, people are taking seriously. And some people are figuring out how to make money at a mass scale, which doesn't help the little guy like me, but still. Social media is everywhere. There are now, uh, I, I always said that there is a, a point where uh, the Social media is going to be a class at the Art Institute of Pittsburgh that I'm seeing an advertisement while I'm watching my Ring of Honor wrestling on local TV. And uh, that's when I know how to get out of the game and look for the next thing. I'm in the process of looking. I'll get back to you. And a good friend of mine just got a master's degree in such a thing. Not to belabor that or or devalue that or anything, but I know that uh, there's a bunch of people that are uh, coming out with pieces of paper say they're good at the thing that I've been doing for 10 years. Um, and, and that will get weird. But anyways, uh, we're at just an interesting spot to look at somebody like, uh, Ginny, who started as an anonymous blogger, got quasi outed and then outed herself in spectacular fashion, which became news on CNN.com, for instance, now doing such great things and talking last week about her, uh, make room for kids. And just a general awesome Pittsburghiness, uh, I, I think, is what her blog really, I think, is the, is the summation of her blog. Uh, really just general good things. She's a, officially a writer at uh, Pittsburgh Magazine, which I think is a great kind of blogging can get you somewhere. If you're good enough, the cream rises to the top. Opportunities arise. A wrestling podcast started 10 years ago uh, leads to... Well, tonight I was actually in a great interview on Indie Mayhem Show uh, with a fellow named uh, John McChesney up there in Erie. And uh, he's a guy that uh, I was introduced to indie wrestling because I tuned into my local uh, channel because I heard that there's wrestling on there. And that's not WWE. Of course, I've been a longtime fan, obviously. And uh, there was this kid, John McChesney, just getting creamed at this uh, tournament that was going on. One by a guy that some people may have heard of called CM Punk. I don't know. I think he's doing something with hockey now. And another by Low Key. And that was my introduction to him. Probably within the next year, I started going to the shows. Within the next year and a half, yeah, a year-ish actually, I started filming the shows. 
under somebody else. Years later, now I'm doing production for them and all kinds of other fun wrestling video stuff uh, for several promotions and documentaries and such are under my belt. And I got to kind of do an interview with him tonight on one of my shows and really pardon, shoot the shit. And it was really great to kind of look back and say, you know, wow, we've seen a lot in this stuff. Him more than me, obviously. Uh, but just in general and being a little closer to the action than I am. Um, and then Pod Camp Pittsburgh is another thing that's been through a lot. It's been through different organizers. It's been, been through different three different venues, different interpretations, different uh, uh, presenters, different things. Um different side events like evening with pod camp that was, that was developed and redeveloped and, and redone and such. And, uh, something that, uh, uh, I think is something that lives on and, uh, through the, through the people that, that, that wanted to right, and, and people responding to it, uh, 10 years, I, uh, I'm <laughs> going to a wrestling show. That's the number 10 this Friday. A decade doing something. Now hopefully it's something that you love doing. When you're starting something today, I hope it doesn't scare you. I hope it doesn't weaken your knees of your motivation when you're starting that project. But it could be nice to daydream. I know I didn't. I didn't have daydreams when I started a podcast of still doing it 10 years ago. I didn't know podcasting would be a thing. As it, as it was, I was moving from streaming radio on a shoutcast server to podcasting. This new thing that a tech guy that I followed on the TV started doing. So I followed along. Looked like uh, looked like the next step. It looked like it made sense for what I wanted to do. It felt right. I think that's when you talk about uh, when you talk about uh, what's the word I'm looking for when you talk about inspiration and and hunches. It's does it feel good when I have a good idea? Wow, that's really when I have an idea that I think would be good. I hope would be good. Um, it's that feeling that 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 pushes you through to execute. Did I think of what PodCamp Pittsburgh would look like in 10 years? I had no idea. It looks way different. Podcasting went away and came back. Blogging was the thing. Twitter wasn't even hashed yet, probably. Probably in a lab somewhere. Facebook, I think it was just getting out of colleges. Now that's all we talk about. Now we have Periscope. Now we have Meerkat. How that's developed over the times. Are you doing the same thing you did 10 years ago, even in that thing that you can put the number 10 by? Even celebrated a 10th year anniversary that we discussed briefly on the show with that, that wrestler that I've known for, for eight years. And 10th anniversary, we ended up at his wrestling show in Erie. Had no idea there was going to be a show that night. Much less one that featured a colleague in the business who, by the way, didn't know I was there, stopped in the middle of the match and said, hey, and yelled my name. I get my name yelled a lot in wrestling matches lately, I've noticed. So we'll see what happens at Cleveland Friday. So are you at the number 10? Are you almost there? Can you not even imagine that thing you started last week getting to the 10? Something to think about. That's what I got for you tonight. It's post-podcast day. This is it. Please check out everything that we had. What got me to this point? You can watch the progression of me slowly losing my mind doing podcasting every Tuesday night at live.sorgatronmedia.com starting at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, please uh, check out everything. Sorgatron.com. Sign up to, for the newsletter if you want more of this um, in the writing form. We'll be back to the morning shows probably for the rest of the week here. Until uh, next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.